everybody. Welcome along. A big weekend of Bundesliga action. It's always a big weekend of Bundesliga action, but uh, some interesting results uh, at this point in the season. Bayern Munich losing their first game of the season. It's always a shock somehow when Bayern lose a game, but lost to Hoffenheim. Yep. And plenty to talk about in that game as well. Yeah, there was plenty to talk about. I mean, for instance, Bayern Munich have complained a little bit about the refereeing or the officiating in this, in this game, actually saying that there was two balls on the field when they conceded that opening goal. And when you look at it, I actually think they have reason to complain about it. The ball was back in the field. The set players on the field were focusing on that ball had been kicked back in and then the quickly taken throw and caught players by surprise. Jovan is uh, absolutely fine a, with this, though. Yes, it's a very clever play. The ball is not interfering with the play at all. It's clearly out. They 60 yards away. I think it was a smart play, heads-up play by Hoffenheim. They take the lead, great finish. Clearly, teams need to start playing with two balls then so you can get an advantage. <laughs> it's in not way. interfering the with play. The ball was in the field. If the referee <laughs> sees that there's five or six players who are concentrated, not knowing if that ball had crossed the line, then he surely has to stop the game. If nobody focuses on the ball that was kicked back in play, then I would totally understand But nobody it. did. I think it's Bayern have a right away. to say no, what they No, no, it's an excuse. It's an excuse. It's not interfering with play. It's an excuse. Bayern's going to have some trouble going forward, I think, with yeah. Muller, with the, Don't change the, the older players. I think it's going to be interesting. This, <laughs> this loss this early in the season will be very interesting for Bayern Munich. I agree with you on that one. I think that Bayern this season have already shown that they're going through a transitional period and they've brought in a certain number of new players that will take time to gel. They've lost some experience in that squad, so that's going to obviously play a role in it. But full credit to Hoffenheim. We have to give them credit. It's not been a great start for them, especially with European competition against Liverpool. Um, they're still an entertaining side to watch. But with Bayern having 23 shots in this game, they should have scored a goal. And, and I think they probably should have come away with at least a point. I still give credit to Hoffenheim, though. They got the job done. Yeah, uh, and... So disagree on that two-ball subject, but do both agree that Bayern actually could, could potentially have a, a slightly tougher season than we're used to seeing them have? Yeah, I don't like agreeing with Jovan. Uh, whenever I have a chance to argue with you, I've, about I've something. noticed but they that, will. Ian. They will have a, a, a <laughs> trickier time. Ancelotti is the best at managing his players. This is the year he's going to get tested. So do you think that they won't win the championship? No, they'll still win it. Ian, I'm trying to get a line out of <laughs> They'll still win it. They'll still win it, but it'll be tight. It'll, it'll be, be close. tight. Yes, yes. very see. close. <laughs> OK, reminder for you as well that uh, we've got lots of Bundesliga coming your way next weekend on FS1 as well. Bayern Munich welcoming Mainz to Allianz Arena on Saturday. Can they get back to winning ways? On Sunday, we've got our first ever Bundesliga triple header. That is a long morning of our team, uh, beginning with Hoffenheim against Berlin. Then later on, Christian Pudisic's Dortmund welcomes Cologne. We will see you then. Don't miss it.